Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm WCI3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey. It is about 9:12 this morning, and I wanted to join you and talk a little bit about the chance for some strong to severe storms possible later on today. Uh, so as you're logging on, let's make sure you can hear me just fine. The audio is okay. You sing things just fine. And uh, let me know in the chats where you're watching from. We like seeing where our viewers are checking in here. We're going to talk a little bit about the heat today, the instability today, and how that gives the way for the chance for some strong to severe storms later on this afternoon tonight. We'll talk about all of that here this morning. So as you're jumping on, uh, that's what we plan to do here. Real short update, but I'll be in back this afternoon to watch things as well. Don't expect a big event, but still the chances there. And today's storms may be the most robust they've been all week here in central Illinois. Here's a look in Charleston right now. Notice that bright blue sky out there. It is already warm. And it's already sticky out here. First off, temperatures, the latest update has 85. We're heading to the 90s, maybe even by 10 a.m. here. And dew point values have been in the upper 60s to middle 70s out there. We'll look area wide at those temperatures. Look at that, mid 80s across the board here. 86 in Decatur, 86 in Lincoln, 86 in Springfield. The temperatures are important, also important. The dew point values today, we're seeing a lot of low, even middle 70s in some spots here. What that allows for is some higher values of instability today. The warmer we can get at the surface, the more instability we get aloft here. It allows for some rising motion. Warm air rises, and with just a touch of cold air aloft, that vertical motion today will be key for some of our strong to severe storms as far as it goes. Now, it's scattered in nature. It's not a huge threat. But today, much like previous days, we still expect to see some of these scattered showers and storms on the board. Let's talk about the forecast when we expect it here. Much of the day looks dry and partly cloudy. The chance for some scattered showers and storms happens this afternoon into tonight. That's when the peak heating of the day arrives. Two, three, four, five o'clock. Those heat index values are quickly approaching upper 90s and low 100s out there. So we'll watch it and keep you updated. That's a sign though that there's that instability today. With the cold front coming in today also adding a little lift. So we may see some of these more robust showers and storms. Let's talk about that energy here. Here we are this afternoon at 2 o'clock, seeing these values of yellow, even reds here on our storm energy, our instability measure here. That's getting closer to high across central Illinois. We've had a lot of instability in prior days, but storms hadn't really been, been able to tap into that. Today, I think they will, given the cold front coming through, and we'll see some scattered storms in nature. Not everyone gets a storm today, but if you do, a few stronger gusts of wind would be the main concern here. Notice even into 830 tonight, seeing these areas of red. When you see these little circles that pop in, that's a sign that storms have formed and are starting to eat away and use some of that instability here in central Illinois. But by sunset, the chance will rapidly diminish as we lose the heating of the day and that energy wanes fairly quickly. Let's time it out on future track for you and then we'll talk more about the threats here. Notice this morning, I'll bring it full screen for you. 10 o'clock, not anything happening. Maybe a few cirrus clouds, but by the afternoon then, we start seeing some of those robust vertical cumulonimbus clouds and those will transition into some widely scattered pop-up showers and storms here and that's going to be the story into 5 30 approaching six o'clock not everyone gets one but any one of these storms could be a little stronger in nature and that will allow for maybe a strong gust of wind uh, in parts of central illinois here's a look at the outlook this came out at 7 30 this morning it's a level one low but non-zero threat here a level one marginal risk we go on a scale of one to five Anyone who watches us in central Illinois is in this level one risk here. The primary reason for that is for maybe some strong gusts of wind. With instability, you get a lot of vertical motion. You can get a lot of rain that accumulates up high. Well, it goes up, must come down. And so we see a lot of mass that slides downward fairly quickly and accelerates to the ground. That may allow for a few of these storms to have some wind gusts of 55 to 65 miles an hour. Not every storm will, but maybe a couple of them will. And that's what we think may happen here. Tornado threat, non-zero. We don't really have any wind shear in the atmosphere, so I'm not expecting that today. We'll watch it, but I think that threat is about as low as it can get. We'll never say never. But it's darn close to that. Hail, I don't think is a concern either. Yes, there's a little cold air aloft. We may have some small hail, but I think the threat's still low. Focused, though, on the chance for some strong gusts of wind here in central Illinois. I will reiterate, again, it is a low threat overall. This is not a widespread event. You think in days past, we've had chances for scattered showers and storms almost every day this past week. 
Some days you may have gotten rain and storms. Some days you may not. There's some of you that will say, hey, I didn't get any rain. And there's some of you that will say, I got rain three or four days out of the week. The nature of the beast with summertime showers and storms, they're scattered in nature. We know the pattern supports them. They'll be very pop-up garden variety. Uh, you can forecast them by throwing darts at a board. And that's how it works here in central Illinois. Uh, but today with that extra instability, with the cold front coming on through, that may add a little bit more lift to allow for uh, some gust of wind 55 to 65 miles an hour. The way to stay updated, of course, download the weather app, the WCIA 3 weather app. You can program alerts on your phone if there's a severe thunderstorm warning issued, a uh, special weather statement advising for a stronger storm. We'll let you know on that. And if we jump on, we'll do any live coverage on our digital platforms for severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, we'll keep you updated through the afternoon. I'll be here and watching that in central Illinois. Here's the cold front. You really can't see it if you look at satellite and radar, and it's not really a true cold front. It's more of a boundary, but it does bring some drier weather on in here, and this high pressure helps with that. Tomorrow it will still be warm like today, but their moisture levels go down slowly, but surely it ends the chance really for rain and storms. That cold front does so by tomorrow warm but dry compared to today warm with scattered showers and storm. And I think by the middle of the week here, you're going to like what this forecast is. We'll tease it for you. Uh, look at this. Tuesday, Wednesday, I've got highs in the low 80s. Some of us may stay in the upper 70s through much of the day. The moisture also really decreases. Dew point values are going down in the 50s by then. And so we'll get a couple of nice days with warm afternoons and cool, crisp nights here. We'll take it in the month of June. Still, though, notice again tomorrow, still upper 80s and lower 90s down there downward, but we go right back up into the heat and humidity with chances for storms returning next Friday. So there it is. That's what I've got for you. Again, the threat today primarily for a few of our pop up showers and storms that may take advantage of instability and a little bit of lift from our cold front, which may allow for some strong gusts of wind. The threat again is low. There's a lot of real estate here, which helps illustrate how low that threat is, but it's something we want to mention and keep you updated on a lot of folks camping this weekend. Maybe have a garage sale, maybe wanting to go to the pool. All of these things here. The timing for this really, I think, is probably from about two, three o'clock onward. You'll be fine if you have outdoor plans. Just keep an eye on the sky here. There's not some sweeping line of storms that's coming on through. We're getting storms popping up, so you'll be able to tell. Ooh, that cloud's looking a little gray. It's really tall looking. Uh, that's one of the first signs uh, as far as it goes. Ooh, that does say May 12th. I thought I changed that. This is supposed to say June 12th. Today's June 12th. Good catch. That's a really good catch. Um, it's early. Let me just change that right now. There, all fixed. Thank you. I saw that in the comments. June 12th, today, this threat is there. So uh, that's something that we'll keep an eye on and keep you updated here um, for some of these pop-up showers and storms. I'm going to look at the comments and just check through and make sure we're good on that. Uh, and then if there's any questions you have, you want to know more information, I do have the website updated. We've got all the details on there for you. You can check the WeatherNow article, the seven-day forecast video, the WeatherNow video. If there's any other Severe weather alerts that come out. I'll be here. We'll do any digital uh, platform streaming. You know, we jump on Facebook and like to talk about it and uh, share what's going on and uh, keep you updated on that. But I don't expect a crazy day today. It's going to be like past days. Pop up showers and storm. But today may be a little more robust in some of those storms. You get a lot of mass that accumulates a lot. What goes up must come down. And that's why we think there's a chance for uh, a couple of stronger gusts of winds, 55 to 65 miles an hour. Again, this is going to be from about 2, 3 o'clock onward till probably about 9, 10 for the severe threat. But uh, I think for the most part, uh, things do look tame today. But if you get one of those storms, you could have a strong gust of wind. That's what we'll say. All right, we got folks checking in from Urbana and Gilman, Onaraga, Philo, Clinton, Tolono, Fairmount, Charleston. Lots of folks everywhere. Appreciate that. Video's looking good. Uh, Armstrong, hot and sunny this morning. All is good in Champaign this morning. Crescent City. Got some folks um, keeping an eye on it. Randy asking, uh, where did this come from? I thought our chances were small. I still think our chances are small. We were watching this. We internally talked about maybe a chance for a shower and storm being a little more robust today of all of the days as early as last weekend. Uh, but we weren't really that confident, and still today I'm not overly confident. So I think for the most part, Randy, odds are low that you'll see severe weather, 
but it's still a chance that we want to let folks know, especially outdoor weather. You know, people want to be out and about. The chance is there for scattered showers and storms, much like it's been all week long. But today, that little extra bit of instability and lift is why we're mentioning it a little more here. So we'll keep you updated. I think most spots probably going to be dry today. You know, last night, West Champaign out by uh, Duncan County Market, uh, the Schnucks out there in Mattis, they got some rain over there. Downtown had sprinkles. Urbana had nothing. That's the nature of the beast with these showers and storms. So still scattered, widely scattered, maybe even isolated in some areas. But any one of those widely isolated, widely scattered showers and storms could be a bit stronger today. This update actually came out officially from the Storm Prediction Center. They're the ones that are the experts in severe weather. They're the best in the business. That came out at about 735 this morning. So we uh, uh, agree with them in just mentioning it. Better to mention it and let you know that there's a chance than to not say anything at all because if you get one of these strong storms and you've got a rummage sale or you're out camping or out and about, uh, if we didn't say anything, you'd be mad at us. Let's be honest. Uh, that's how it works. So uh, we're going to let folks know just that there's a chance for some of those storms today. Uh, rummage sale in Armstrong, Pot Potomac and Gifford having rummage sales today. Get out. Take advantage of those. Uh, if you keep an eye on the sky, you'll, you, you'll be able to tell if there's a storm trying to form nearby here. There's not a lot of wind shear. There's not a lot of movement with these storms. They'll pop up, kind of meander around, and then dissipate quickly. Uh, so the eye to the sky will be your best friend, but you can also download the WCI3 weather app. We'll uh, keep you updated on Facebook Live if needed across central Illinois. We got a demolition derby at the Martinsville Ag Fair down in Clark County. Uh, fingers crossed for no storms. The other thing to note, if you do get a storm, they won't last all that long. You know, you may be 15, 20 minutes and it'll clear out from your area. Storms today, uh, again, I think the main chance from about 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock, but they're widely scattered, isolated in nature. Not everyone gets one. It's the, the chance for storms is much like it's been in past days. Pop-up showers and storms. Today, again, just a little extra edge to maybe a storm or two could have. So I think you still can go to the pool. I may go to the pool myself uh, and try and catch a little sun here this morning into the early afternoon before coming back on into work. So we got the graphic fixed. Thanks for that. Um, may the rain be nice and gentle and not torrid. Here's the other thing. Today really is the only chance for rain we have until next Friday. We don't have anything in the seven day forecast that looks widespread rain. Scattered today, probably scattered next Friday. There's a lot of dry time in between with that nice weather coming. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll take any rain we can get uh, far for the area. Katie, it's a pool day in Windsor. I agree. Uh, it's a pool day in Urbana, too. It is hot out there. Have a nice cold beverage next to the pool. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? Uh, as long as it stays away from Farmer City, we got a wedding outdoors. I, I, okay. Just put it in the system. Keep it away from Farmer City. Um, Connie, should I chance a long scooter ride? I think you'll be fine, Connie, if you want to go out and about. Uh, again, I, I think you'll be able to see, ooh, those clouds are looking a little more gray and they're looking tall. You'll see those early signs, which will give you a little time here. In addition, this is not a widespread line of storms that's sweeping through the area. These are these pop-up showers and storms. So, you know, one side of town may get rain and the other side of town may not, if you, that, that's the way things work out. Uh, with this goes. Estimated timing for strong storms. I'll leave that window from 3 to 10, just like with our chances for showers and storms. We may have a few showers after 10 o'clock, but that severe threat will primarily be during the heating of the day. When you have the highest temperatures, the heating of the day allows for those high instability values. That's when those showers and storms will be expected. Uh, Lily saying flowers need rain. Yeah, we need some. We do need some rain here. Uh, it's been dry and hot. Probably going to do a lot of watering this weekend into next week. That's the way things are looking with the forecast. Some folks saying, like Donna, it's a stay inside type of day. Hey, you know, you got the air conditioning on, cold beverage indoors. It's definitely hot and humid out there here across the region. All right, uh, so last a little update, and then we're going to wrap this up, and I'm out of here for a couple of hours to get some breakfast and get a little nap in, maybe go to the farmer's market. It's hot out there. Today, 3 o'clock till 10 o'clock, a few strong to severe storms are possible. The main threat will be for gusty winds. That's my main focus. We don't have any wind shear in the atmosphere, so the tornado threat is about as low as you can get. I'll never say never, but not really anticipating that. What we think happens is because of instability values, you get a lot of rising motion that carries a lot of mass, a lot of water in, up into the atmosphere fairly quickly. What goes up? 
must come down. You can get some of those downburst gusts of wind, 55 to 65 miles an hour. Not every storm will be severe. Some storms may have gusts of wind 30 to 40. That still may affect you if you're outdoors, um, but they're very much isolated to scattered in nature. Not everyone even gets a storm today, much like in the past days here with these pop-up summertime storms. That is what we've got for you. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, we'll keep you updated in central Illinois, West Indiana. If there's any severe weather alerts in your area, we'll let you know immediately on the WCIA 3 weather app. We should then join on digital platforms if there are any. I don't think we'll even get a watch today. We just may get a couple of those warnings that pop up on. The heat, though, all of us will see that heat already feeling it out there with those temperatures climbing quickly. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Download the WCIA 3 weather app to stay updated, and we'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon.